Hi, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com. I've got a question for you. Are you a sound sommelier on the go? We've tested over 750 headphones and earbuds. The good, the bad, the weird, and the fakes. So sound sommeliers and enthusiasts, today we're checking out the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. These are the next generation of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3. And let me tell you, we've got adaptive noise cancelling. We've got so many APTX codecs. We've even got AuraCast, which has nothing to do with palm readers or psychics, as it turns out. So stay tuned to see how these feature pack buds stack up. The Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4 comes suited and booted with a tweed charging case. Inside, you'll find brushed metallic colored buds. They look a lot like the previous generation's model in slightly different color tones, so there's nothing new here. You've got your pick of tweeds. Ours is black graphite, but there's also black copper and white silver for those of you who have never gotten ketchup on a white shirt. Let's take a moment to behold these premium brushed beauties. All right, I know what you're thinking. No, you don't have to be overly gentle with these earbuds. They have an IP54 rating to protect them from dust and water splashes. They're sturdy too, so if you drop them, you'll be fine. Speaking of dropping, they won't fall out of your ears. Headbanging, Zumba, planking, do people still plank? They'll stay put. These chunky buds fit better than you might expect from their square shape. Thanks to their three sets of stabilizer wings and four pairs of ear tips, they're very stable to wear at the gym or on the go. If you're at a desk or on a flight, you can remove the stabilizers for a slightly more relaxed in-ear fit too. If you've ever worn in-ear monitors, you'll recognize the deep fit of the Momentum True Wireless 4. This can take some time to get used to, especially if you're accustomed to something looser like the original Apple AirPods. We're not going to lie to you and say that these are as comfortable as the AirPods, because they're not. But they're lightweight and stay in place better. Those of you with smaller ears might find they apply too much pressure after a while though. Sennheiser has your controls covered. The touch pads are located on the logos. They control the majority of commands from basic ones like playback and volume to changing listening modes like transparency and ANC. You can reassign most of these commands in the companion app too. For example, you can adjust and preset how loud the transparency modes mixes within the app. Once set, you can use the touch controls to enable transparency mode so that the amount of environmental sounds piped into your ears is just right. You can do the same thing with the noise cancelling strength too. Their responsiveness is solid but if you need to readjust the buds, you might accidentally trigger a command. That's because there's not much surface area to grasp that isn't touch sensitive. Fortunately, they don't move around much when you tap them to crank up the volume to your favorite song. Bluetooth, some things for you to know about. Yes, you can connect to two devices using their multi-device pairing. Oddly, that's one device fewer than the previous third gen. If you have an iPhone or a Mac, these buds support AAC codec, which is really all you need to know for Bluetooth compatibility in Apple, because the Apple ecosystem doesn't support aptX. Now, onto aptX Bluetooth codecs. It's story time. The Momentum True Wireless 4 support so many aptX codecs. They've got your standard garden variety aptX and aptX HD, both great choices for music. There's also aptX Adaptive. You can choose your priorities like low latency or high quality when you select the codec in the Sennheiser Smart Control app. If you want to watch your favorite reality show where people yell at each other and want to have the dialogue sync up, aptX Adaptive Low Latency gets you the closest to in sync. While the latency is much lower using this codec compared to the others, you might still notice it a little bit. Latency is only a problem for video though, so if you exclusively listen to music and podcasts, don't worry about it. Just choose one of the high quality codecs like aptX HD or aptX Adaptive High Quality. No need to overthink it, that's our job. The Momentum True Wireless 4 sound pretty neutral with a warm top end. They're not too different sounding from the last generation, the Momentum True Wireless 3. As is, kick drums give a good amount of boom without intense rumble. The mid-range is very balanced, avoiding exaggerations that could lead to a cluttered mid-range. This means guitars, keys, vocals, and snares all have a natural sound and sit a bit forward in the mix. Their sound profile is pretty dark in the highs, which helps reduce premature fatigue from too much piercing treble. The result is reduced detail when you hear cymbals crash and a warm vocal delivery. If you find you're sensitive to bright sounding earbuds, it's a worthwhile sound profile. Still, if you want a bassier or brighter sound, this is actually a really easy frequency response to adjust, because it's conservative to start. If you want a neutral sound with a little extra something, you can make it sound excited, more bassy, or even darker with a couple of moves in the EQ sliders. Onto adaptive noise cancelling. 
You heard it here, folks. These do an excellent job of filtering out external noise so you can focus on what you're doing. Think, people talking too much on the plane, babies crying on the bus, shrieking subway breaks. Mid-range and trebly noises in particular are significantly reduced through combined isolation and noise cancellation. Plus, there's a wind reduction mode too, which keeps the resulting noise created by the noise cancelling system from impacting your tunes. The ANC reduces lower pitch noise too, like rumbling engines and nearby construction, but not quite as effectively. Still, they're currently among the best we've tested for noise cancelling earbuds to date. Yeah, I said it. Their adaptive noise cancelling is up there with the Bose QuietComfort Ultra earbuds, which also have a wind reduction mode too. Although the Bose QuietComfort Ultra earbuds cancel deeper rumbling noise better, they cut out less mid-rangey sounds, like ambient traffic noise, than the Sennheiser. Wearing the Sennheiser, you'll hear much less din and chatter at a cafe or in an office, as well as quieter piercing train breaks during your commute. New to the fourth gen Momentum lineup is support for AuraCast. But what the heck is it? Those of you who are in the know are probably already aware that this new Bluetooth technology works like an open channel broadcast Bluetooth connection. It's designed to connect with many devices simultaneously to deliver the same audio stream. Instead of requiring a device to confirm pairing, the earbuds simply pair. Some airports have begun to add AuraCast tech to make announcements. It's already getting rolled out in hearing aids, for example, so those with hearing impairments won't miss their flights. AuraCast isn't widely adopted at this point, but the True Wireless 4 are future-proofing your travel experience, even if this feature doesn't really apply to most of us yet. It's nice to know that noise cancellation doesn't mean you have to miss out on important information. Speaking of travel, these earbuds can last 7.3 hours with ANC on before needing a top-up. You get three extra charges in the case for just shy of 30 hours of battery life in total. Like most earbuds these days, they use a standard USB-C cable for charging, or you can pop the sturdy tweed-clad case on a wireless charging pad. So, the votes are in. And you should buy the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4, if price isn't a big concern for you, and if you don't have small ears. They're well-built, sound good for most kinds of music, and come with a flexible EQ and a solid app. Heck, their ANC is top tier. Plus, their battery life and APTX adaptive connectivity delivers high quality audio for hours. But do these Sennheiser Buds dethrone Sony? The Sony WF-1000XM5 are also fantastic earbuds with a similar adaptive ANC performance, certainly one of our top picks. In addition to similar noise reduction using an ANC system, they have a deep in-ear fit and use memory foam ear tips to help isolate you from high-pitched sounds. This also improves their stability. Because memory foam expands to fill your ear canal, it applies pressure, which some people may be more sensitive to than others. You can also use the silicone ear tips included with the XM5, but they don't block out nearly as much noise. And because of how earbuds fit is so subjective for each person, it's also worth considering what works best for your unique ears. Unlike the Sennheiser, they don't support APTX codecs, sticking with LDAC, which delivers high quality audio and LE audio. On the flip side, if you watch a lot of videos, the XM5's higher latency will probably get annoying compared to the Sennheiser Buds' latency. The XM5 sound rumblier and boomy with a more cluttered low mid-range and a brighter treble response than the Sennheiser Buds. Like the Momentum True Wireless 4, you can EQ their sound in the companion app. If surround sound is essential, out of the two, only the Sony WF-1000 XM5 supports Sony 360 Reality Audio. It's in the name. So you'll need a subscription to compatible service, like Tidal to use it, though. It's a tough call between them because it depends on which additional features are most important to you. Still not sure? Check out our in-depth video on the Sony WF-XM5. Now, hear me out. What if you spent less? What if you got the previous generation Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 instead? Unless gunning for ANC is your primary reason for choosing the Momentum True Wireless 4, in which case, I respect your need for silence and they definitely outpace third gen, but the previous model's adaptive noise cancelling is hardly a slouch and is still quite good. The Momentum True Wireless 4 highlight how good the last generation are because they share many of the same great features, and now those features are cheaper on the third gen. Their battery life is similar, they support the same connectivity, except for AuraCast, the app is basically the same, they basically look the same, and they almost sound the same too. So if you like good noise cancelling, but it doesn't have to be top tier, get the previous model and save yourself some cash. If you like all those things and want some of the best noise cancelling, the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4 are a solid choice. 
so check your wallet for cartoon moths, count your pennies, and know that you can't really go wrong with them. But also know that the competition is fierce. That's it for our review of the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 4. If you want a detailed write-up on these buds, check it out on our website. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. Goodbye. Think, people talking too much on the plane, babies crying on the bus, squeaking, well, squeaking, screeching, screeching, might, ac might accidentally trigger a command. That's because there's not much surface area to grasp. To grasp. To grasp. To grasp.